Is it the grass-fed animals diet? Or is it the environmental uh, terrorism diet? Uh, let me check out! Animal agriculture is by far the most destructive industry on the planet. But will grass-fed animal agriculture be anything better? Let me check out! According to statistics, uh, grass-fed animals, um, specifically grass-fed beef or cow, takes around a something like three times the amount of plants as grain uh, feeds cows and produce around four times the amount of CO2 in form of methane. So far more methane is produced and far more plant is needed to feed the whole world or the people who on this moment eat animals. If we let look to the statics and see that around 45% of all the land of the earth is used for animal agriculture mainly then we can easily see that animal agriculture grass feeds will be an ecological disaster and totally unsustainable. So, what about a vegan diet then? Now, my guests, veganism can easily stop water. Why? Now it takes around something like Four acres of land to feed an average carnist on a Western America plus diet. But only one sixth of an acre of land to feed one person on a plant based vegan diet. If anybody was on a carnist diet, how involved breastfeed beef? I suggest that number will not be four or three, but rather something like um, nine, eight or nine or something like that. So, why not instead of that grass feed rubbish, go to uh, supporting products like uh, Satan. Satan is a um, great substitute for animal flesh if you want to have something with a similar taste texture. It is made from gluten and if you are not gluten intolerant then there will be nothing a problem for you with gluten. Actually the most successful countries on the planet were eating mostly around history well, grain based diet or corn based diet start based diet so maybe you can check Dr. Mentuko about his opinion about it if you want to know more about that topic. Very interesting. I think he is a very good plant-based doctor. I'm not agreeing with 100% of the things he say, but a lot of stuff I think makes very much sense. Since animal agriculture is actually extremely detrimental to the environment, uh, cattle ranching uh, takes around uh, something like 70 to 70. 5% of the responsibility for deforestation. By the way, uh, logging is around 1 to 3%. 
dependent on study. It is pretty easy to see what the problems are with uh, all those carnivores. There are addicts, and addicts are always irrational when it comes to their behavior. So stop feeding the addiction with crap, with cruelty. And viral culture is unnecessary, it is environmental a terrorist organization. It is an environmental terrorist organization on top that it is a terror organization. Check out the definition of terror. Prism. It is the brain. Terrorism is an ideology based on terrorizing, violent, inquisition, murder, a rape, kidnapping. You know what you call it. Give it a name. Exactly the things people pay to doing to animals in those places of error. I think animal agriculture as losses are the closest thing on this planet that we have to a fictional health. Hanging bodies upside down, heads from the bodies, blood dropped out of their bodies, and then others being forced into the place. How scream for their lives. And then some psycho with a knife cut their throats and hang them upside down. I not can vision one more pure example of how hell maybe can be if there is something as now. Something you not will not even wish your most most evilest enemy. Most people will say, but are committed actually to living beings. All have harmed them and never in the whole life. How evil is that? Careful for throwing stones in the Think for a moment and come to a sane conclusion that you must be thinking. Because it is the most kind way to live. It is the most environmental friendly way to live. Veganism is a true justice movement. It is about justice for the most vulnerable, the most oppressed, the most exploited species, a group of species ever on this planet. 2.8 trillion marine animals and also around 70 billion land animals. Veganism is not about you or me. And I'm sick of you that you can't just take the victims out of scenario. It is asinine, it is evil, and it must be stopped. Stop playing like Hummel, the governor of the South, how was saying, Oh, they abolitionists are, are so reckless and arrogant that they uh, totally negate opposition and our rights. Stop being such passive aggressive. By the way, if you want to read that quote about him, about Hammond's uh, James uh, Hammond, governor of the South, check out his letters on slavery. Veganism 
Vegans are not the arrogant one. They are the people who force their lifestyle onto other animals. Fuck the law. The law protects slave masters. Prostitution. The law protects rapists of white of black women in South Africa under the apartheid system. According to the apartheid law, black women cannot be legally raped. So fuck the law. And all their inconsistencies and hypocrisies. Veganism is more than superior to the fucked up law of the edge in time. Just like the abolitionist of slavery were far behind the law of their time. It is time for law enforcement uh, to uh, rip off the blinders and look a little bit about history and realize that most social justice movements were completely uh, demonized by their cult of law enforcement and how evil the law enforcement actually were in their time. Meet. Go uh, vegan. No excuse against it. Again. Peace begins with the day. But what you eat on a daily basis.